Hi, everybody loves pizza, but everybody likes it differently. So if I wanted you to draw a piece of pizza, how would you start? Well, the first thing you need is a white piece of paper. And I am gonna go over my paper later with a Sharpie marker, so I like to put a piece underneath or something on the table in case I get marks all over it, which is why I have this pad on my desk here while I do my projects. First thing I want you to do is we're gonna put a piece of pizza over here. We're gonna make the pizza the subject of our picture. Um, a piece of pizza is a triangle. Usually we cut pieces of pizza into triangular pieces. You come from the crust into the middle and turn it and cut it all the way around like the spokes on a wheel. And so the piece that usually gets on your plate is a triangle. But the end of the triangle um, isn't straight. It's curved because pieces of pizza are usually started in the round. And when you cut it, you cut out a triangular piece. So how to draw that, okay? Well, the first thing you wanna do is I put a dot. And then I know I'm gonna put two straight lines out and then curve it so that I have my piece of pizza. So watch how I'm doing this. I have a dot, best I can. I draw a straight line. And I think, oh, how much pizza do I want? Okay. Then I draw another straight line. Okay. And then I curve my pizza slice because it's in a circle. So you see here, I make a circle piece. Okay, so this gives me my basic outline of my pizza. Let me show you that with the marker so that you can see it better. On this side of my paper, in from the edge, maybe about the size of my hand, I just put a dot, okay? And then I drew a straight line here. And then I drew a straight line here. And then instead of connecting them with a straight line, I connected them with a curved line, okay? So I have my basic piece of pizza from which I'm gonna start. Now, the piece of pizza has a crust on it because they have to roll up the dough so that they can put the ingredients on without um, while it bakes without everything bubbling off the edge. So it has to have a rim on it. So to make that rim, we just put another little line up, another little line here, and there we have our, our pizza crust, okay? And we're gonna talk about ingredients on our pizza, okay? Now, we have to think about the shape of our ingredients. Well, if we have cheese, cheese usually is just strips of shredded cheese. They can be like lines that are curved, but they sprinkle it on and it melts in the oven. So cheese sort of ends up to be very abstract. You kind of have to decide how much you want the cheese to show. You may not want it to show at all. You may want it just to blend in with the background. Um, usually you have the dough, the sauce, the cheese, and then you have the toppings. Well, a favorite topping is pepperoni. Pepperoni they make in a long tube like a sausage and it's cut. So when it goes on a pizza, we know it's gonna be round. So if you want pepperoni, you're gonna to have to think about round shapes. If you want um, a mushroom on your pizza, mushrooms get sliced and they have a little stem and then usually they come up like this, rounded and with an indentation and they're sliced that way on a pizza. Um, onions. Again, it depends on how they're sliced. They can be um, 
almost like a C and cut like that. That could be an onion slice. Um, what else do we like on pizza? Some people like sausage, sausage, and usually those are just, it's just crumbled. Same way with ground beef. They could just be, you know, crumbly pieces, more like round shapes on your pizza. Some people like green pepper. Again, depending on how it's cut, it'll be very similar to the onion. But again, if you color these, you can get an idea of what it's going to look like um, on your pizza. So everybody has different things that they like on pizza. So going back to our picture, we really just have to decide now how we're going to decorate our pizza and how what things are we going to put on it. Now, um, it really has to do with the, the way you color it. Now, we know that the crust at the top here shows. So what we want to do is we want to find a golden brown color that we can color the crust um, so that it um, blends in. I'm going to look here and see what my good crust colors are. Um, I think this one, I think my pizza is going to be a little bit dark. That looks nice and tasty. I'll color that in. And if I think it looks a little dark, I can always go over it with a little yellow. Because it starts light colored, but as it gets cooked, it gets darker. Now, because this is a piece of pizza slice, I'm probably not going to see too much of the sauce if I like a lot of cheese. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to do um, a little bit of red around the edges at the top here because I want the sauce here but I like a lot of cheese on my pizza so I'll probably see the sauce next to the crust here okay I may come back and add some more red in a minute but I have to think now what kinds of toppings do I want on this pizza okay I think I'm going to have a pizza and if this is my pizza slice, they're going to be putting it down this way. Um, I think I'm going to have a pizza that's going to have some um, mushrooms on it. Like I like mushrooms on my pizza. Maybe you don't, but um, it's going to have some mushrooms on it. And you know, they're, you know, spread out. Okay, I think I'll put another mushroom over here. mushrooms on my pizza okay um I usually don't have pepperoni on my pizza but you know let's say I'm ordering it and other people in the family like pepperoni I can go with it so I'm gonna put some pepperoni on it some pepperoni you know what I think that's a little small I think my pepperoni might be bigger and you know what when they make the pizza they're gonna cut it so I'm gonna make my, some pepperoni like off the side like this so that it's cut. There's half on the other slice. I like that better. I'm gonna have some big pepperoni, but they're gonna cut it. So then I'm gonna make my pepperoni pieces off the edge and none actually round in the middle. I think that's gonna be more fun looking. Okay. And then um, I'm going to have um, some, let's just, Put a little bit of um, just for color. Let's put some green pepper on, and let's put some red onion on. Okay, and let's. 
let's put on um well, let's put on another pepper or onion. They're gonna be about the same. Okay. All right. You know what? I'm gonna outline these. Then I'm gonna know where I can color. So this is gonna be my pepperoni off to the side here. Okay. These are gonna be my mushrooms. This is going to be my green pepper or onion. Okay. Now, the thing is you want it balanced because the person who's making the pizza is going to be sprinkling the ingredients on, but they're going to want to make sure it's evenly spread out so it doesn't look like um, you didn't get a pizza with any toppings on it. So I'm going to um, find uh, some colors that are going to go good with my pizza right here. Um, I'm going to color my green pepper here. And I'm going to make this a green pepper up here. My onion, just for color's sake. I'm going to make it like a red onion. So I'm going to add very bright, very bright colors. Okay. My pepperoni, I want something that's gonna be like a brownie orange. That looks like a good pepperoni color here. I need to find a mushroomy color. Okay, I'll do this lightly. They're usually kind of a white brownie color. Let's see, I didn't erase in here, right? I have some cheese on it. I also wanna have some sauce on it. So I think I'm going to um, get a little Sauce, just colored in spots. Go around some of my veggies with the red. Cause I mean, here's the tricky situation. If you put red and yellow together, you get orange. And of course no one has an orange pizza. So you wanna make sure that you get a few spots that you've done red with the sauce, but then you leave the white space. So I'm gonna commit to a few areas. I'm gonna color real hard so that I have the sauce on here. And I'm gonna try very hard to come right up to the red, but not mix it, okay? Because I don't want it to look orange. I think I haven't gone um, dark enough in some spots, and I'll just go darker red. Now, I like green oregano. I like to sprinkle that on. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of green on here. And, uh, and I like to put my picture on a nice background. Um, so I'm just gonna take my pizza slice and see why you put another piece down, the marker goes through. And I'm gonna just take a pair of scissors and I'm gonna cut out my pizza. So now you have a terrific pizza pizza, and there you go. A wonderful piece of pizza that you created yourself. Yum. All right. Have fun. Enjoy drawing your slice of pizza. Bye.